Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. So the great folks over at SwitchBot have sent me over some of their awesome new products to show you guys. The main one that we're going to look at today is the SwitchBot Hub 2. Now this thing is awesome. This is the new second generation version. It does Bluetooth, it does infrared, it does Wi-Fi. It's got your sensors on it, like your temperature, as well as your light sensor. It even has a button that you can set up to remote control something on and off. Um, this thing, on top of all that, will now support matter, which makes it that much cooler. Uh, and so on top of that, we're going to look at controlling a SwitchBot blind tilt with that as well. Uh, so we'll take a look at both of those and see what all we can do with them. Uh, but nonetheless, let's dive right in. So uh, as you can see here, you can pick these things up on Amazon's website, both of them, uh, either the Blind Tilt or the Hub, for about 70 bucks. Uh, so it's not that bad. You can also pick them up directly from SwitchBot's website for about the same price. Uh, so depending on which way you want to go, uh, you have two options there. You can order uh, from either or, and you'll get a pretty good deal. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I got all the boxes laid out here. Uh, let's see, uh, for starters, we'll do the Hub 2. Uh, so there's lots of information on the outside of the box, all the specs and capabilities of the Hub itself. Uh, let's get this thing opened up. Right here on top is the uh, Hub itself. So it has a built-in stand here with it, which uh, kind of reminds me of their uh, SwitchBot meter, kind of similar design there. And it looks like it's gonna display like temperature and humidity on the front. Let's see what else we got in the box here. We got a power brick, a USB-C cable, and this is kind of a, a special cable because it actually has a sensor built into it as well. And then of course we got all these setup instructions for getting this thing online and added into the SwitchBot app. Uh, but next up here, let's take a look at the blind tilt. And just as before, they got all the information on the outside of the box detailing what this thing can do. Let's see, opening this up right here on top, we got the blind tilt itself. So this thing kind of hooks up to your blind wand and we'll control it that way. So uh, similar to some of the other blind uh, controllers that we've seen. We got instructions for getting this thing installed and set up. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got all the mounting templates and it looks like a solar panel for powering the unit as well. It uses USB-C, so it looks like if you weren't using the solar panel, you could charge the battery with just a standard USB-C cable. Uh, let's see, uh, what else do we have in here? Looks like we got some mounting brackets and pieces, as well as there is a regular USB-C cable in here, too, for charging the battery. But that's it for the blind tilt. This last thing is a, a remote that we can use along with the blind tilt. Uh, so it's a little battery powered remote that has a little mounting bracket that you can stick to a wall somewhere close to the device uh, that you're wanting to control. They even provided extra 3M tape in here, it looks like, in case you need to uh, move it. So that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get the hub set up on our home network and add it into the uh, SwitchBot app. As far as installing the hub, um, at least physically, all we have to do is plug it in using the USB-C cable that they provided. And you definitely wanna be using that cable because like I said, it kinda has that sensor built into it. So I have mine installed here in my kitchen. I previously had an older SwitchBot meter uh, plus installed. So uh, this kind of replaced that since it has basically the same information on it. 
We now need to get this thing added into the SwitchBot app. So this is pretty easy to do. I mean, we're just going to hit that plus button in the top corner up here and it will start looking for devices nearby. And as you can see, it already sees the hub too. It's listed there right at the top, so we can select that. Uh, now we need to get this thing in pairing mode. Uh, so you gotta hold the two buttons down at the bottom on the hub for a couple of seconds until it uh, puts it in pairing mode. Now it's ready to get it added into Wi-Fi. Now this does use 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so you need to make sure you're not trying to use five gigahertz. So we'll add that SSID here. And then it will start making the connection. And voila, we're good to go. Uh, so now we can adjust the name if we want. So I'm going to go generic this time around. I'm just going to say SB Hub 2. We'll save that and boom, now we have it added. See, Alexa even sees it as well. Uh, so we'll let the app and hub kind of sync up here. And I think we're ready to move on to the next step. And we're going to get that blind tilt installed. All right, so here's the window uh, blinds that I'll be installing this new blind tilt on. It should go pretty easily, I think. It's basically your standard window blind, so it's nothing out of the ordinary. SwitchBot says to pair your blind tilt with the app first uh, before you install it. So we got the app pulled up here. Uh, we're gonna hit that plus in the top corner. As you can see, it already sees the blind tilt, so we can go ahead and click on that. In order to get it in pairing mode, we need to hold the button down on the bottom of the unit. And then right away, it's already connected and it looks like it needs to do a firmware update. So we can kind of fast forward through all that, let it do its upgrade. Now we are ready to give it a name. So again, I'm going generic with the name for this as well. So I'm going to call it SB Blind. At this point, we are ready to physically install the device. So uh, let's go ahead and move forward with that. We're going to follow along with the instructions here. So we have to uh, measure the wand first to make sure we have the right mounting brackets. Mine shows large. Next up, we're supposed to put this template on here. So uh, I have kind of stuck it here to the bottom of the blind uh, as shown there in the picture. Since we measured large, we're going to be using the large bracket here on the wand. And now we are ready to actually install the mounting bracket for the main unit. So I've stuck that up here at the top uh, in that little corner based on how the cardboard template is put up. And at this point, we're ready to install the little gear piece that goes around the mounting bracket on the wand. This is the last little mounting bracket required. Now we're ready to put up the full unit um, that will wrap around the wand. The last little thing we have to do here is uh, optional, of course, it's to install the solar panel. Uh, so I've stuck mine here at the top of the window and you can kind of see it here and it just plugs into the side of the unit. But now we are ready to move back over to the SwitchBot app to uh, get this thing calibrated. The app makes it super easy to do that. So basically you're gonna close it all the way down, um, hit next, you'll open it up, hit next, you're gonna close it all the way up, hit next, and then you're going to uh, open it up one more time. And at this point, it should be fully calibrated. The only other things that I wanna do um, as far as getting everything set up is I want to add this blind tilt to that new hub that we just installed earlier in the video. So if we click on cloud services here, and then we can turn that on and then we'll select that new hub. But other than that, um, we have that small um, SwitchBot remote that we can also pair to the blind tilt. So they'll have a little button to open and close the blinds as well. So if we click on pair with a remote, uh, then we can add the new remote here. Uh, we'll have to put it in pairing mode. It picks it up pretty quickly and now we can give it a name. So I'm gonna call it blind remote. 
And now we can assign actions to those buttons. So I'm gonna have one button for opening the blinds and then one button for closing them up because that's kind of the direction I like to have my blinds set up. But at this point we are fully installed with everything. So let's kind of move on to the next step and we'll kind of go over the config in the app. All right, so let's go over the config here in the app. Uh, so here we are in the main page for the uh, Hub 2. You can see right there at the top, we got the temperature, humidity, and even the uh, current light level of the room. Now just below that is where any IR devices uh, that are connected to the Hub would be configured. Uh, after that, we got the section where we can configure the buttons that are at the bottom of the Hub. So you can uh, build out scenes uh, with other SwitchBot devices um, and then use the buttons to control those scenes. But if we go into the settings here in the top corner, uh, right there at the top, we can change the name of the hub if we want, as well as what room it's associated with. Uh, next, we got Wi-Fi settings if we needed to change that. Uh, below that is backlight and sound. Here you can uh, enable and disable the indicator light. You can decide if you want the uh, hub to always be uh, lit up or not. It also has a sound setting uh, there at the bottom. Uh, by default, when you push the buttons on the hub, it would make a sound. I have mine disabled. It gets a little annoying. Uh, let's see, uh, desired conditions. This is where we set alerts for temperature and humidity. Uh, if you want to get, uh, say, a notification when it's really hot or high humidity. Uh, under calibration, we can calibrate the temp and humidity of the sensors if we needed to. Under cloud services is where we would configure Alexa or Google Home or something like that. Looks like there's a section for NFCs, if you have any of those configured. And then after that is the beta matter configuration settings. So uh, this is where we should be able to add this hub to Home Assistant, assuming you have like a Sky Connect or some kind of dongle uh, that supports Zigbee and Thread attached to your Home Assistant. Looks like we have a section for logs. Uh, I don't have anything in there currently. Other than that, you got a section at the bottom uh, with the device information for the hub. But if we go back out of this, uh, we can take a look at the blind tilt. So you can see it's got the battery status there at the top. It has that cloud showing that it is connected to a hub. You got the bar on the side where we can set it to whatever tilt orientation of the blinds that we want. Uh, it also has the buttons just below that for um, fully open, all the way closed uh, up, and all the way closed down. It's kind of cool because you can also set a, a schedule if you want to have them open at a certain time and close at a certain time. It'll even open based on light sensing. So that's kind of cool. So we go into the settings in the top corner. Of course, uh, you still have the ability to change the name at the top. Uh, let's see, under motion mode, we can put it in um, performance mode, which makes it uh, move a little quicker. But then there's also silent mode, which is a little bit quieter, uh, but also takes a lot longer to close. We can uh, recalibrate it if we needed to, if it wasn't opening and closing correctly. Under cloud services, this is where we connected it to our hub earlier. Um, this also allows us to configure Amazon, Alexa, or Google Home, stuff like that as well. We already paired with a remote, so I showed you that already. Let's see, we got firmware and battery. This shows the current level of the battery as well as the status. Uh, looks like it's not charging currently and that's because it's nighttime, so uh, obviously there's no sunlight right now. Then of course we got the device info section. Now if we back out of this, we can go ahead and look at the blind remote that we set up as well. Um, there is the two buttons that I have set up, uh, one for close up and one for fully open. There's not a lot of customization for the remote. Uh, you can see the battery status. Uh, you can turn the sound and indicator light on and off if you wanted to. I think that would probably uh, help the battery to last longer if you left those turned off. But that's it as far as the settings in the SwitchBot app for all of these devices. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the last step and, and I'll kind of give you my final thoughts.
All right, so SwitchBot Hub 2. This thing, uh, you know, for 70 bucks is a pretty sweet little deal because not only is it uh, a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, and a light sensor, uh, it has those two buttons there that you can control different SwitchBot devices, as well as this is a hub for IR, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Matter. So you're talking about Thread, Zigbee, stuff like that. This thing is going to be awesome. I guarantee you. Um, you're going to want to get one of these if you can. Um, I think that going forward, especially once Home Assistant fully integrates Matter into their setup, as well as SwitchBot integrating Matter fully into their setup, you'll be able to control those child devices that are connected to this hub through Matter in Home Assistant, which would make this thing even cooler. And just the fact that you have um, a hub that has the display with the sensor and everything on it makes this hub that much more user-friendly and uh, more versatile. Now on to the blind tilt. I like this as well. Uh, this is a very easy install. It works directly with your existing wand. You don't have to change anything out. You can still manually open and close if you needed to, but the blind tilt works great. Paired with that remote makes it that much cooler and that much smoother setup there. So definitely worth checking out both of these, the blind tilt for 70 bucks or the um, hub two for 70 bucks. Check them out. I'll have the links in the description below. You're not going to want to miss them. As always, um, if you're not interested in this particular device, SwitchBot has tons of other devices out there, all kinds of cool smart home gear, cameras, SwitchBots, sensors, all kinds of stuff. You're going to want to check them out. I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, head over to my spring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for the latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Smonet. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over to their website and see what deals they currently have running. If you're looking for the latest smart window treatment, you're going to want to check out Smart Wings. I'll have a link in the description below for that as well. If you head over there, you can see what deals they currently have running. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, you're going to want to check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description below for that as well. If you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.